This video content is not intended for children. And this is Alex from Lebanon, a nice large mouth there doing the selfie thing on Old Hickory Lake. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. It's overcast. It's a little bit windy. We're going to do some float fishing with these gulp euro larvae. I also have some gulp minnows. These don't get a bite. I also have some crappie nibbles and other panfish baits. Let's see if I can do anything with this first. Wow, looks like we got some rain coming. Hopefully I can get a fish or two before that gets here. Fish. There we go. First fish of the day. Got a small bluegill here. Yeah, five and a half inch bluegill. So far, so good. Still got my bait. Let's keep going. Oh, thought I had a bite. Might have been snagged on something. Let's check my bait. Gone. Let's get some more bait on here. There we go. Looks juicy and delicious. Let's get back to it. While I'm not getting a bite, fish. Oh, what is this? Nice one, nice one. I was rinsing my hand off and bam. Yeah, that's a good, good bluegill right here. Yeah, great colors too. That's a nice, nice big bluegill. I would say about eight inches, right? About the size of my hand, the full length of my hand. Let's get a measurement just to make sure. Eight inches on the nose. Yeah, good bluegill right here. Time for some more bait. I got that bite as I was rinsing my hand off. I'm Jennifer and you're watching Realistic Fishing. <laughs> Keep it realistic. This time I'm going to rinse my hand off before I cast. There was something down there in front of me. Might have been a turtle. I'm feeling a little bit of rain. Is that a bite? Fish. <laughs> Skipped him right out of the water. Swallowed it. All you do is wedge the stick between the hook point in the fish's mouth, pull it out just like that. Takes a little practice, but it works. Here's that fish, five inch bluegill. Still got my bait too, let's keep going. I 
I'm happy to be finding some bluegill over here. That eight incher made it all worth it. Hopefully we can get a few more. While everyone loves catching big bass, if I don't feel big bass in my future, fish on. If I don't feel a big bass in my future, I will gladly switch to panfish. Easy. Damn it. I got him off the hook, but he jumped out of my hand. There he goes. What kind of asshole would leave this line here? Come on. Even at a private club, there's always one guy or girl, who knows. Don't leave this here. Disappointed in that. There we go, come on, big bluegill. Got him. Oh, that feels like a good one. A little bit of drag pulling right there. Oh, yeah. Big boy. There we go. Now that is a nice bluegill. Another eight incher here. Nice, thick bluegill. Good eating size, but we're letting them go today. Yeah. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. These little gulp larvae are doing great. That little thing can catch eight inch bluegill. Just gotta find them. There we go. Sometimes it's easier to cast past where you want it to land and reel it into the sweet spot. If I tried to cast and land it right there, I'd be in that tree. But I can cast it out there and then put my rod out to the side and reel it into the sweet spot. Holy cow. I scared a big fish right there. Might have been that 40 pound carp I caught that one time. Holy sh that scared me. Fish on. Wow, get out of there. He went right for those trees. Did you hear that drag? This is a strong fish. Another nice big bluegill. Chunk. There's another eight inch bluegill. When they're the size of my entire hand from middle finger to wrist right here, that's about eight inches. Easy to measure that way. Another good bluegill. Let's let him go. That's funny, I got scared by a big fish over here. Probably eating the uh, 
persimmons or nuts or whatever is falling out of this tree, then I got me a big bluegill. Let's keep going. We're going to use that same technique. Cast past where I want it to be. Reel it into the sweet spot. Fish. Didn't even know I had one. Just a little guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take those back. Yeah, just a little guy here. Four and a half inch here. Let's keep going. Hopefully we can find something a little bigger. Dang it. Oh, look at that. When I yanked it towards me, I buried that in the ground. But man, that was a good bite. Let's get it back out there right away. I felt like a good fish. Got him. This one doesn't feel so big. Not bad, a little bigger than that last one. I'll take that. Yeah, just slightly bigger. Lay your tail down. Yeah, five incher. What is going on guys? I'm Rush, this is Little Miss Rowdy, Ronda Rousey for Rush Forest Outdoors, and you're watching Realistic Fishing, always. Keep it realistic. Come on, one more. Just one more. Here we go, last fish of the day. Are y'all members? Yeah. Are you? How big is that one? Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, seven inches. There we go. Seven, seven and a half. Good looking fish. Well, that wasn't too bad if I do say so. I tried for bass when I first got here. I didn't even get a bite. Then I switched to bluegill and I was fishing the gulp year old larva. I got a bunch of four and five inches. But I also got a handful of 7 and 8 inch bluegill. Those are the kind I like to catch. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.